The day before the murder, Michael Adebalajo was out shopping. He went into Argos in Lewisham and bought a sharpener and a set of five knives. Over the next 24 hours, he and his blue Vauxhall Tigra were spotted around southeast London. But at lunchtime the following day, it was circling around Woolwich Barracks. The prosecution say he and Michael Adebowale then committed a heinous attack on drummer Lee Rigby, running him over and then trying to decapitate him. Pedestrians and drivers were there first. In this footage, there is a glimpse of one attacker with a knife. The footage shows how busy the road was when Lee Rigby was being murdered. People were pleading with the killers to stop, but one woman was left speechless. As Amanda Bailey pulled up here, she said she saw the driver of the Tigra get out and grab the young man by the hair and start hacking. She was so shocked by what she saw, she said, all she could do was sit there and stare. She said the driver was so determined in what he was doing that he wouldn't stop. Lee Rigby's family and loved ones were again in court, and again, some of the evidence proved too much to bear. One witness described Michael Adebalajo as pure evil that afternoon. Shirley Armstrong said that during the attack, Michael Adebalajo looked at her with bulging eyes. He then went to his car, got a gun and pointed it straight at her. She said, the man didn't say anything, he just stared at us. I thought I was going to die. That day, she was with James Hennigan. He left the courtroom in tears after his evidence. Michael Adebalajo's barrister told him there was nothing he could have done to stop the attack. Both defendants have denied the murder of Lee Rigby and attempting to murder a police officer. The trial will continue tomorrow. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Woolwich.